Welcome to my guide on the easiest way to unlock the Barrow's title, which is also known as the Grave Robber. After doing Barrow's for about 40 or 50 hours, I noticed something as I was testing different setups, items, in which case you will be seeing later in this video. And I noticed something broken that makes this such an easy way to force getting specific items for your log. Now, of course, there is a disclaimer and you can ignore this whole video, but from my testing, there is a difference between using a lock ring, a lock of the doors, and a HSR. And of course, you can just bypass it all by just praying on RNG to hopefully get you the items that you do need. But if you want to go for the easiest Grey Robber title, in which case you just get all 39 items, I did notice something over doing this in three accounts. So with that, let's begin. The very first one would have to be using no luck ring at all. Now from my testing, I was able to get one item every hour and a half. In which case, I was more likely to get the dual wield weapons, which includes like the Aram's book, the Aram's wand, and then like Carol's crossbow and main hand, well the main hand and off hand crossbow. Afterwards, I did notice I was able to get a lot of helmet, mainly Darok helms. And then, for whatever reason, I was able to get a massive amount of dragon helms compared to the other two methods. Now, there is also another thing I noticed. I was getting a low amount of blood runes. So, if you're doing this for bloods, of course, you want to try to use a luck of the dwarfs in a sense. Now, for the luck of the dwarves this made a huge impact somewhat i noticed i was getting an item on average of every four hours and those items were most commonly plate bodies except icarus because icarus there was another secret to him that i learned and while you are using the luck of the dwarves you have the highest chance of getting an Aram's staff. Now, of course, like I said earlier, you could just camp one ring, lock the doors, and then just go for the title completely. It's just, again, I did notice using no luck ring, I was actually able to get dual wield weapons and helms. For whatever reason, I was getting a very crazy amount of late bodies, which was pretty interesting that I did notice, except again, the Icarus late body. And then if you're going for GP, I was able to get a massive amount of Aram staff from using this item. And then right here, I was able to get five Aram staffs, but using the Luck of the Dwarf method, four of my five Aram staffs were thanks to using the Luck of the Dwarfs. In which case, I really did notice that. And then that's about it for Luck of the Dwarves. However, if you are a main account or you got spooned on an Iron or Hardcore player, you have access to the Hazelmere Signet Ring. This ring, I noticed a massive difference yet again. So, for this one, I was able to get all types of plate bodies, the gut and spear, and I was getting access to a ton of Icarus items, including the full set of him, which is just the four pieces. And there was one more thing I know was that I was getting a crazy amount of blood wounds, pretty much almost triple than what I was using with no luck ring. Luck ring versus the luck of the dwarves. I was actually getting around the same amount of blood runes. With the HSR, I was getting almost triple. 
and then I'll go back to it. Now, you see my 11 Gutton Spears. Seven of those were using the HSR. So that means using no luck ring and 11 dwarves, I got an additional four. So it is still possible. It's just I was getting a huge difference using the three methods. Of course, you can just camp one ring and just do the title of that. Lastly, we have to be hunting for Linza, which I have found to be very, very interesting as I have killed over 1,300 of her. And then for about 850 kills or so, I only killed her and then I skipped the other brothers until there was one with the tunnel, in which case I skipped and enter there and straight go towards the chest. And because of that, I was able to test 400 kills with no luck ring, 400 kills without the HSR as I was using Luck of the Dwarves, and then for another 400 kills I was using the Luck of the Dwarves. Afterwards, I stuck with using the Luck of the Dwarves, and I also did try a combination of Luck of the Dwarves as well. Right before Linza dies, is when I would swap to my Luck of the Dwarves. In which case, this did seem to help. Because right here, I was able to get Linza items only when I was using the Luck of the Dwarves. For some reason, when I was not using any Luck Ring, I was getting nothing whatsoever. Now, the same thing with the HSR, however. I was getting Amulet of Forsaken, so I'm not sure if that helps or not, because I did find it a little bit odd I was getting Amulet of Forsaken using the HSR and then lock the doors for Linza items. And with that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you like something else as this video was a little bit odd because there is certain places where the luck of the dwarf and the HSR does impact what you are doing and wanting to get. An example would be elite clues as the HSR is better if you are going for dragon mask and that means all types of dragon mask and along with animal mask as well for collection log purposes. But with that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and enjoy the rest of your day.